It's an alternative school for kids that have trouble making it in traditional schools. For most students, the WAY program is a preferred option. Richard Brown, also known as Rick, dropped out of high school in the middle of his freshman year because he felt excluded. In fact, he was being bullied. Some of the students there just did not understand the situation I was going through, and they were just kind of pushing me on, just calling me names, stupid little crap, and well, I didn't like it. And since my, my teachers didn't understand my position either, so they kept on piling on the work and more and more work, and it was dry. I was feeling very overwhelmed. He was dealing with personal issues at home, which caused him to miss school, and when he was able to attend, classmates targeted him. I'm not really who I was back when I was at public school. I was small. I had a very high-pitched voice. They were calling me squeak, squeak. <laughs> a bunch of stuff and it just really put me down not none the fact that I've already had so much on my hands already it just really made me feel bad and I really don't want any other kid to feel like I did according to the National Association of School Psychologists one out of ten kids drop out of school because they are being bullied I've been bullied throughout my entire life. When I was in school, I have just always pushed it aside. I didn't let it get to me. It didn't really start getting to me till around mid-seventh grade is when it really started taking effect on me because that's when kids are kind of maturing and that's when they can get a lot nastier and, and can do more cool things. And that's when it was starting to get really bad and I felt all really out of place. Knowing that being a high school dropout would not provide him with many career choices, Rick found an alternative program, WAY, which stands for Widening Achievement of Youth. It is a program that started in Great Britain because of the dropout crisis. It was called Not School. A number of students were given the opportunity to engage in school, but not attend school. So there was the creation of an online environment, and within that environment, Students were given the opportunity to interact with one another as well as with an online mentor and an expert. In that online environment, those students completed their high school experience. If this school wasn't an alternative, I would most likely still be at home. Not, I would probably still wouldn't be in public school. So this program has really helped me out in my life and I'm planning on going to college right after this. Once a kid who thought he had no future, Rick is now an aspiring video game designer and said he has learned a lot from his bullying experience. From, from my bullying experience, what I've been through, I've kind of realized that, I mean, any kid could be like I am. I, I'm pretty sure no one really noticed what I was going through, so anyone could be like I, like I was. So never bully someone, never really call them names or just tell them that you're stupid or like you're not doing your, your job because they have no idea what you're going through because at home it could be a completely different, a different other situation. You could be doing your job, just no one could really see it. Shannon Smith can relate to Rick not only as a director, but he was once a victim of bullying. Uh, you, you've heard stories of uh, students that have been bullied, students that have been um, in bad situations. Uh, I, I was the, a victim of situational poverty growing up, so uh, kids would call me names. They would talk about my clothes. They would uh, make fun of me, and I said if I'm in a position to help or support, I'm going to. And so I, I saw education as a means to change the quality of my life because after uh, I saw my mother graduate from college, the quality of our life changed immediately. And I saw the power of education. And I said, not only will I have that, but I'll also position myself to help young people because I was one of those that needed help and support. Rick and Shannon Smith want kids who are being bullied to know that dropping out of school does not have to be the solution. I would give some advice to these kids to not let what, anything, what, what they say ever take you down. Don't let anything that they do make you feel uncomfortable. If you want to go to that school, you go. It does not matter what they say. I mean, don't let them stop you from your dreams. And... 
I mean, if someone, if it's getting really bad, just go to the teacher or a principal and go and talk to them. It may sound like a, like a, you might be teased afterwards, but they won't be able to tease you afterwards because they'll be in trouble. So, and they'll learn eventually not to do it again. Speak with the adults in your life. Give them the information so that they can help you out. Um, people who don't share don't often have an opportunity to get the help that I think is often available to them. So the first thing that I would say is tell mom, tell dad, tell a guardian, tell your teacher. If those aren't effective avenues, speak with another adult that you trust and love and respect. Let a coach know. Let someone who is working within the facility know what's going on. So that's the first thing. The second thing is don't take actions into your own hands. Don't attempt to retaliate. Don't attempt to get back at anyone because that only leads to, to more problems. And, and Rick said it best when he said, if a situation is, uh, involves name calling, don't allow what someone else says to uh, inform who you are. Know your worth, know your value, and know that you're going somewhere. Know that what's inside you is awesome and what people say really isn't how things are. Life at Way gives each student, or what they call researchers, an opportunity to learn at his or her own pace. The Way researcher has the opportunity to create their own schedule. We are open uh, from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, and from 10 to 4 on Saturdays. We are only closed on Sundays and federal holidays leaving 300 days per year for a student to possibly come to school. There's no spring break, no winter break, no summer break. We are here and available and open because we work for students. So the average day uh, starts when they come in and we engage them not only in opportunities to support them online, but here uh, is really a more than experience. And we provide our researchers with an iMac desktop and internet connectivity at home but here in this space, we provide them with awesome experts who are certified in their content area who engage them in highly interactive and innovative, we call them workshops or lab activities. And it's, it's really a place where there's a, a high focus on learning, but kids get to choose. So if there's something that you're interested in, and Rick said it best, he's uh, actually written uh, video game reviews, and in the writing of those reviews, had an opportunity to practice mechanics as it relates to grammar and sentence structure and those other pieces that you have to when you create essays, but he had a chance to choose what he wrote about. And so it's about choice and freedom and supporting young people and, and they get that choice and they feel respected and appreciated. Students at Way have various choices and freedom, not typically given at your average high school. And Smith believes that Way is the future of education. To change the course of education throughout the nation and possibly the world. We are going to attempt to inform education and educational policy, not just locally, but nationally and possibly internationally. And so the goals are to really take the comprehensive and traditional high school, those you have to go to this class, sit here for 60 minutes, listen to a teacher speak, who may or may not be giving you something that's re relevant and informative, and then you might get an opportunity to use it on a test. We want to flip that on its head and give kids an opportunity to be at the center of the process, to plan for them and around them to make sure that their needs are met and to make sure that they're prepared for post-secondary life. Here at Way, students are learning to make their way into college and into the world. I'm Dylan Clark reporting from Wine and Logan Network, where we bring you the younger side of the news.